In this video we will learn about endospore staining principle, procedure, result. The endospore staining technique is a differential staining method. This method helps in the detection of endospore containing bacteria, thus help in the classification of bacterial cells. Some bacterial cells have the ability to convert themselves into endospores in extreme environmental conditions, which helps them to survive in harsh environmental conditions, high temperature, pH, etc. In 1922, Derner first introduced the endospore staining method, which was a very lengthy heating process but resulted in differential staining of endospores and vegetative cells in the same sample. In this process the endospore and free spores appear in green or blue or red dye retained by the vegetative cells. In 1933, Schaefer and Fulton modified the Derner's endospore staining method and make more faster, but heating with a Bunsen burner was still messy. There are two methods which are commonly used to stain bacterial endospores such as Schaefer, Fulton and Klein methods. The main difference between these two methods is the use of dyes. In Schaefer Fulton method the dye is malachite green and saffronine whereas in the Klein method using dye is carbyl fuchsin and methylene blue. The staining time of Schaefer Fulton method is faster as compared to the Klein method. That's why most microbiologists follow Fulton method. Purpose of endospore staining. The main purpose of endospore staining is to identify the presence of endospore within the bacteria cell, identification of endospore producing bacterial cell and differentiation between vegetative cells and endospore forming cells. Schaefer Fulton method for endospore staining. Principle in Schaefer Fulton method two stains are used, a primary stain malachite green and a counter stain saffronine. The malachite green and saffronine is an alkaline solution. Because of the alkaline, chromophoric component positively charged nature, these two stains work well on endospores. They are easily absorbed by the cell because the bacterial cytoplasm is basophilic in nature. The malachite green is forced into bacterial cell by applying steam. This primary stain is water soluble and contains a low affinity for cellular material, that's why it can be easily decolorized with water. After that, a counterstain saffronine is applied, which will stain the decolorized cells. At the end of endospore staining, the vegetative cells will appear in pink color, and endospores will appear in dark green color. Reagents required for endospore staining. Primary stain, malachite green half a percent aqueous solution. Mixture of half a gram of malachite green and 100 milliliters of distilled water. Decolorizing agent, distilled water. Counter stain, saffronine. Mixture of 2.5 grams of saffronino and 100 milliliters of 95% ethanol. Endospore staining procedure. Step 1, take a clean oil-free slide. Step 2, prepare a smear at the center of slide. Step 3, air dry the smear. Step 4, Heat fix the slide. Step 5, place a blotting paper over the slide. Step 6, now, saturate the blotting paper with malachite green stain solution. Step 7, place the slide, smear side up, on a wire gauze on a ring stand. Step 8, heat the slide, until it started to evaporate. The heating can be done by Bunsen burner of boiling water bath. Step 9, remove the heat and again reheat it as needed to keep the slide steaming for about 3 to 5 minutes. Make sure the moisture of paper maintains, add a few drops of malachite green to keep it moist. Avoid overheating the slide. Don't add too much stain. Step 10, after 5 to 6 minutes remove the slide from the rack and allow it to cool. Step 11, remove the paper and keep the slide at room temperature for 2 minutes. Step 12, wash the slide by running tap water to remove the malachite green from the both side of slide. Step 13, flood the slide with counter stain. Saffronine and wait for 2 to 3 minutes. Step 14, rinse both sides of the slide. Step 15, allow the slide to dry for a few minutes. Step 16, now slide is ready to observe under the microscope. Endospore staining results. Endospore, will appear in green color. Vegetative cells, will appear in brownish red to pink color. Second method of endospore staining by Derner's method. Requirement endospore staining by Derner's method. Counterstain, carbol fusion stain. It can be easily prepared by 0.3 grams of basic fuchsin, 10 milliliters of ethanol, 95%, volume slash volume, 5 milliliters of phenol, heat melted crystals, 95 milliliters of distilled water. Decolorizer, decolorizing solvent, acid alcohol. It can be easily prepared by 97 milliliters of ethanol, 95%. Volume slash volume, 3 milliliters of hydrochloric acid, concentrated, counterstain, nigrosin solution. 
It can be easily prepared by 10 grams of nigerson, 100 milliliters of distilled water. Procedure. Step 1. Take a clean oil-free slide. Step 2. Prepare a smear at the center of slide. Step 3. Air dry the smear. Step 4. Heat fix the slide. Step 5. Place a blotting paper over the slide. Step 6. Saturate the blotting paper with primary stain, carbolfistin. Step 7. Place the slide, smear side up, on a wire gauze on a ring stand. Step 8. Heat the slide, until it started to evaporate. The heating can be done by Bunsen burner of boiling water bath. Step 9. Remove the heat and again reheat it as needed to keep the slide steaming for about 3 to 5 minutes. Make sure the moisture of paper maintains, add a few drops of malachite green to keep it moist. Avoid overheating the slide. Don't add too much stain. Step 10. After 5 to 6 minutes remove the slide from the rack and allow it to cool. Step 11. Remove the paper and keep the slide at room temperature for 2 minutes. Step 12. Decolorize the slide by adding acid alcohol solution on it and then wash it with running tap water. Step 13. Place a drop of nigrosine on one end of a slide and create a thin film of a stain all over the smear with the help of another clean slide. Step 14. Allow the slide to dry for a few minutes. Step 15. Now slide is ready to observe under the microscope. Result. The endospore will appear in red color, against dark background, while the vegetative cells will appear as colorless. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe us for more video.